Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and this video is actually going to be like a first impressions video. I'm going to try on some new makeup that I got. So, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, we all know that I don't wear foundation or anything like that. Um, I do use it in my tutorials just for, you know, the tutorial. But on a daily basis, I don't wear foundation. So, I've been looking and trying to see if I could find a foundation that, you know, I like and I can use for, like, when I'm going to, like, events or important things where I want to look, you know, put together. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying today this new Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And it's almost like a tinted moisturizer, but... It's kind of not. So, I got the shade Chestnut, which is number 9. And this is actually one shade lighter than the darkest shade. So, hopefully this matches. I did um, put some on my hand in the store from the tester. So, I'm just going to shake it up. Because when I squirted it in the store, the tester was like kind of liquidy. So, I just want to make sure I shake it up. So, you just peel this off. I haven't tried this on my skin yet. I've only put it on my hand in the store. So, just peel the little sticky thing off. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. So, that's what it looks like. Um, it looks kind of dark. Hopefully, it works. I don't know, it's looking kind of red. So, I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques buffing brush and blend this out. This is what it's looking like. I don't, I don't think I like this. Next, I'm actually going to go in with concealer. And this is going to be my first time using the NARS concealers. So, I did go back and get the next shade darker as well, which is Amande. I think that's how they were pronouncing it in the store. I don't know. So, I'm going to mix Amande which is this color, with the caramel. So, this is what they both look like side by side. You can see one is darker than the other one. So, I'm just going to put this on. It is definitely really creamy. And I'm on that. I'm actually going to use this um, Real Techniques setting brush to blend this together. Or should I use my fingers? I think I'm going to go in with my finger first. It 
It is definitely really creamy and easy to blend, which is good. And I definitely think mixing them was a good idea. Because one is a little too dark and kind of red. And then the other one is, of course, too light. So... the concealer so far the concealer is really nice really nice and creamy and both of those colors together seem to be really good together which is exciting because I was kind of worried so yeah um that's it for concealer next I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm not going to use a um eyeshadow base and I'm going to actually use the Tarte Lip Palette which I've not yet used so this is what it looks like and I'm just going to take Dreamer oh not as light as I thought So now I'm going to go in with Wanderer right here, which is kind of like um, a beige color. Yeah. Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Yeah. Tattoo Liner. And I'm going to make a really thin line. So hopefully this lets me make a thin line. Because as you can see, the tip is really nice and thin. So I'm going to use this. Okay. It's nice and liquidy. It's not dry. Okay, I'm back with my lashes. I was having some technical difficulties trying to get these suckers on. So, now I have them on. So, next I'm actually going to go in with a blush. And I just got a new blush from MAC in the shade Raisin. So, it's just like a brown, red coral I don't know um so yeah I'm gonna go in with this powder brush in the blush so there's my blush I'm actually gonna go in with some highlighter and of course I'm gonna use my MAC extra dimension skin finish and superb this has become my favorite highlighter ever like I love it it's so pretty and I'm gonna go in with a fan brush and of course I'm gonna take it down my nose I'm going to put it 
right on top of that blush. On my cheekbone. This brush is shedding. Yeah. Light it. Like that. And then as far as my lips, I'm going to try on the new um the new lipstick from MAC. This is Viva Glam Miley Cyrus and this is like a hot pink. I haven't tried it on my lips yet, so this is going to be my first time and this is what it looks like. It's hot pink. Hopefully it looks good on me, but you know and um this is a amplified lipstick so here we go but it actually works with my skin so now i'm gonna go in with this lip liner and see um, Now I'm going to go on with this lipstick. I don't like it with the lip liner. I don't like that transition in color. And it makes the lipstick darker. Hmm, so I guess that's why it works for some women. Mm, I don't like. Okay. Okay. So... I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Contour Kit. This is not new. I already had it. But I really want to add some definition. Okay. That's all. That's all I'm going to do. And yeah. This concludes my first impressions face. I definitely see where I smile at. It's starting to crease my smile lines. So yeah, this is the makeup. I'm going to probably do like a wear test. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a wear test. So right now it is 11.15. If you can see, it's 11.15. So... I'm probably just going to lay around the house, wait for my boyfriend to come back, and then probably run some errands, and then I guess I'll be back. I don't know how much longer. Pro I'll probably try to come back in like two hours. And I'll Hey guys, so I'm back with an update on how the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream Makeup did and right now it is 5 14 so i've been wearing this for about six hours and i haven't touched anything on my face the only thing i've changed is my lip color which has worn off um i did take off the viva glam miley lipstick um it's a really pretty color i think it wears really well it did stain my lips, and my lips are probably still stained, but I just put this lip gloss on top of it, which has worn off now, but yeah, I just put this on, and it kind of gives like a gradient effect like I have on lip liner, but I don't. My lips are just stained from the Viva Glam lipstick, so I do really like the lipstick. I even like the way my lips look after I took the lipstick off. And my lips were stained so as far as my face 
At first, I thought the color was too dark, but then after I finished filming, I went and looked in the mirror, and it actually looked really, really good, and I uploaded a few pictures on Instagram, and I think the makeup photographs really, really well. I think it looks really nice and luminous. I will say that um, now I really don't feel like there's anything on my face. At first, it felt kind of um, greasy to the touch, but now it doesn't. I will say that my forehead looks kind of greasy to me and I'm not an oily person. My skin is very like a natural, normal, I have like normal skin so I'm not oily but I noticed like my forehead was looking a little bit, you know, greasy. So I'm just taking a paper towel, not even paper towel, I'm taking tissue and I'm just kind of blotting my face. Um... But yeah, I really like the way the eyeshadow looks. I think the Tartlet palette is a really, really good palette. And if you're like, you like neutrals like me, I think this is really good. I really like how the eyeshadow looks. I like how it's worn throughout the day. And I didn't put on a base. All I put on my eyelids was the concealer. So as far as the concealer, I do like the way the NARS concealer looks on. So I'm really a fan. It's really creamy and it's really pigmented. And... It, it covers so it's really nice um so yeah that is it with what is on my face as you can see whatever is left there's still a bunch left on my face so yeah I'm satisfied I think the makeup wore really well this is going to be my last update I'm not gonna do another update because I am about to wash my face because I'm ready for this stuff to come off but yeah that is it if you guys have any questions just let me know if you like this kind of video let me know as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye